In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use focus stacking in the field for tack sharp images of waterfalls or basically anything else you wanna use focus stacking for, right after this. What's up guys and welcome into the video. On this channel we talk landscape photography. So if you're into landscape photography at all, consider subscribing to this channel. Now in this video specifically, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use focus stacking in the field and then I'll take you onto the computer later so I can show you exactly how to use focus stacking additionally in Photoshop and we can put this whole thing together. First off, what I'm using is a Sony 70-200, a Sony A6000 mirrorless camera and I'm gonna be shooting this scene behind me of one of my favorite waterfalls in Great Smoky Mountains National Park along Middle Prong Trail. For this image, it can be really difficult. Why is that? Well, first off, you can definitely shoot this scene in something like F16 and have a ton of focal distance in the whole image. But what happens when you don't get your first tree within acceptable focus, it's a little bit blurry. You may not be able to tell on the back of your camera, but you can tell whenever you print an image, whenever you put it online and blow it up really big. You wanna be sure that you have tack sharp focus throughout the entire scene. How do you do that? You use focus stacking. So for focus stacking, basically what we're going to do is set up a little bit further back and shoot an assortment of images using the same frame, just focusing to different parts of the image going back. Basically what I'm gonna do here is focus to individual trees and create sheets of focus going back throughout the frame so that I get one shot with the closest tree in focus, the next shot with the next closest, next shot with the next closest, all the way back in a series of images until I hit the waterfall in the very back of the frame. So let's get into the camera and really see how we do this. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is focusing on this first tree here, then the next one on the left side, then I'm kind of just dancing back through and finding different trees to focus on until I hit the waterfall. I'll show you the images that we're getting as we're going through and shooting at different focal distances as we move through this scene and move through the frame of what we're trying to photograph here and focus stack together. Okay, so you've been out to the field, you've hiked long distances, you've found the shot, you've done the focus stacking, doing the technique of using sheets of focusing throughout the environment, going sheet of focus by sheet of focus by sheet of focus. Now you find yourself back at home, you're in the digital darkroom, AKA your post-processing software. What do you do? So there are several things you can do to focus stack, but in this section, I'm gonna show you the fastest and easiest way that I've ever found to focus stack my images to get tack sharp focus throughout the entire scene, and that's using Lightroom and Photoshop together. So let's go right into my computer screen so we can see exactly how this looks. Okay, so in your library, what you wanna do is navigate to the videos that you want to do the focus stacking with. Now, these three right here, starting with the selected one, two, three, are the ones we're going to be using. If I click on these and bring them up, you can see that they have different levels of focus as you scroll back and through each one of them. Now, this is good, and, and it's also good that we have some slight variation to what the lens was shooting because now we get to add another variation to this. How do you line everything up if you have slight camera shake like we have between these two photos here? So how do you exactly do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is actually make a selection of the photos that you want to stack together to make a focus stack. So you select your first image, hold down your shift key and select the last image as well. That's going to select all three images or however many images that you're using to do the focus stack with. Now what you're gonna do when all three of these are selected, you're going to right click on that selection and go to edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. You don't want to go to open in Adobe Photoshop because that's going to open 
three separate files and three separate windows for you to edit in Photoshop. We wanna merge these in layers. So we want to go to open as layers in Photoshop. So when you click that, it's automatically going to open Photoshop and allow you to edit these in layers. Once all of your files are loaded, what you're gonna to wanna to do is select the top one, hold down your shift key and select the bottom layer so that all of your layers are selected so that we can go ahead and align these. Now, remember when I said that two of the images were slightly off, this is how you align those so that your focus stack is perfectly aligned as well. You're going to go to edit and you're going to go to auto align layers and just have auto selected and then you hit OK. And Photoshop is going to automatically align hard edges so that your photos are absolutely straight going back and all of your features are aligned exactly how they should be if you have any of that camera shake. Now once that is aligned, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Edit and you're going to go to Auto Blend Layers. Now you wanna have seamless tones and colors selected and content aware fill transparent areas selected just to be sure that if anything is off, like the alignment was slightly off, that Photoshop automatically fills those in with their artificial intelligence and content aware intelligence on any features that may be left out. So we're stacking these images, not panorama. So be sure stack images is selected. And then you're going to go to OK. And it's going to auto blend these for our focus stack. And you're going to have a perfectly in focus photo of your landscape. So here's the perfectly in focus photo that we have of this waterfall going all the way back from this first tree all the way back to the waterfall in the background. If you look over here on the right side in your panel, what you have are masked objects of focus. So Photoshop basically took the sections and sheets of focus that we shot in the field like we talked about earlier in the video and it merged those together to create these masks of focus and here's our final image, the raw file that's merged finally. And with just those few steps, you have a perfectly tack sharp image going all the way back so you can produce those massive prints to hang on people's walls or your own wall. You thought focus stacking was gonna be a little bit difficult. It's actually that easy if you know the few steps in the field and the few steps in the digital dark room, you can come back and make amazing focus stacked images for your landscape photography. Hey guys, if you want more videos that are gonna help you improve your landscape photography, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and continuing watching is always an option too. You can watch this playlist that's gonna help you with in-field tips with landscape photography or if you wanna watch a different video from this channel, you can click or tap your screen right here or if you wanna easily subscribe, click or tap your screen right here. Thanks so much guys, can't wait to see you on the next video, keep shooting.